Aries, extra, extra, read all about it. Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is the oracle card reading. It's an energy reading, not a horoscope. It's an intuitive energy reading. So it will apply to wherever Aries energy applies in your life or in your natal chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, doesn't matter. Wherever Aries influences your life, even if it's somebody else who's an Aries in your life, you can apply these themes for the next week or so. I don't date the videos anymore, like not go out on dates with them, but like put dates on them because people don't care. <laughs> but I still do make a new Aries video. I make, I make each of the 12 Zodiac week aheads every single week. So if you want your favorite content and you wanna know right when I upload them, please do click subscribe ring and ring that bell so that you'll get notified when the uploads occur. Um, this is your oracle card reading. We're going to start here with the, the general energies and then I extend, I always have an extended reading. That link is below in the description box um, with a full tarot card spread that will expand upon the energies here, articulate them, better define them. We get into more specifics and personalizes them and it also includes that full romance reading. So Aries, let's get into it. Aries. Aries. I swear to God, before, <laughs> before I got into your video, I literally said to myself, I feel good. I literally said to myself, damn, I'm awesome. I literally said to myself, because I'm the bomb. Like, like I felt that energy. There was this, this energy coming out <laughs> of me um, that was extremely confident. So hopefully that was a sign. Embrace the in-between energy of six plus two. This is eight. Figuring out, being constructive and ingenuitive in the interim. Okay. Then we have a let it shine. Four plus six. Energy of ten. Something coming to an end. Something coming to a head. Or drawing to a conclusion. Finally coming to fruition. And then last but not least, we have watch and wait. The energy of eight again. Something has been waiting in the process and in the wings. Aries, this is your crowning energy. So a lot of destiny, a lot of timing. This has been divine timing for something to finally get noticed, for you to finally realize something or for people to finally realize you for or to push you just enough to get you to speak up and speak out and insist upon the spotlight as only you can. Aries, this is you being pushed and not giving a you-know-what about what people think about you. This is two very, very frilly, beautiful birds deciding that they're so fed up with not getting the attention that they deserve. This is some sort of um, a masculine energy, usually very um, maternal masculine energy, a father taking care of you, taking care. Maybe you're just about to ask your father for some help or some money or you want attention and you want it now, maybe from a patriarch in your family or you're tired of being ignored or you're tired of not having them talk to you. Or there's some sort of, I, I refuse to be ignored any longer right? You've waited. You've been patient enough. You feel like your patience has done run out. You're tired of being ignored. And, and this is, so this is Libra energy. This is Scorpio energy. And this is Pisces energy. All energies that, mm, I don't know. Um, well, they do deal with the in-betweens, don't they? Actually, Pisces deals with usually just the realm of dreams. But Scorpio definitely skims that, is that gatekeeper or that bridge between life and death. And then you have Libra energy always trying to find balance between two extremes. And it's like trying to figure out this balance, but trying to not get lost. Trying to not get lost in the murkiness of your own imagination or the depths of your own soul as you're stuck with primarily only yourself and your own mind this week. Two energies also came out in reverse. This and that are true and slow and steady wins the race. Oh yeah, you're about done. 
And you just done had it with somebody's attitude problemo with basically expecting you to put up and tolerate with this you know what, especially in the climate that we're existing in today. It's like, don't expect me to repeat something just because you said it and told me I got to repeat it because I'm about to think about it before it comes out of my mouth. I'm not about to just follow along. Thank you very much. Aries, your energy is very well applied because there is a sense of, I said this this morning, hashtag rage against the machine. And you are about to rage because you, who has a more firmer sense of who they are than you? A sense of, I know who I am and I love who I am and nobody's going to convince me that I'm wrong for being me. The first house of individuality and independence is leading the way in the onslaught of conformity. Damn. This and that are true. And slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, you're about done with that. You're like, uh-uh, uh-uh. We need to take a stand and know where we stand. That's what we need to know. Clear out the clutter. Being forced to sort of hang on to or repressed somehow to stay in a less mature state. Being in a place where you can't move around or you're weighted down or burdened with, um, burdened with responsibility, fear, suffering, that kind of energy of maybe somebody in your life. This could be double Cancerian energy in reverse. Um... Somebody that's just basically not ready to move forward or not ready to move on because of their own fears, their own resistance to change, and their own need to conform, need to adapt. Or there could be some major turnaround in somebody. Hold up, hold up, co-create with spirit. Yeah, this is, once again, you have another eight. Seven plus one, one plus seven equals eight. So this is destiny and divine timing. The timing is now and right. This is also using your throat chakra, using your throat feeling it from your heart and letting it come out. This is speaking truth or speaking something into existence. This is listening to spirit, connecting with spirit. Even if it's dark, even if it's scary, you, like I'd rather have the scary stuff and the truth than the BS and it be frilly and cute. Uh, bring your ideas to life, four plus two. This is like that spark of energy or that spark of life or that insistence on something new starting or coming into existence. So um, this is that start, that, that, that spark, that ignition. It's like you're ready to, ooh, you ready to set this on fire. You're ready to ignite something or start something or maybe got to be starting something. Like there's an energy of fighting back, talking back to somebody, not really taking somebody's crap anymore because they shoveled BS in your, down your gullet for so long, you're choking on it. And now you're just going to vomit it back up into their face and be like, you take it. I don't want it type of energy. Um, now we have freedom is yours. What I say, mm, balance, earth love, freedom, liberation from being stuffed full and chock full of crazy nuts. Uh, and then we have magic works through you. Once again, energy of five plus two is seven. You are working on something. You are, I feel like you're working on your manifesto, Aries. You're basically deciding that, oh, no, 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 no more, no more. I, it's out of the gate. It's released and I can't take it back. My energy, horsepower, baby, horsepower. I've just let it out of the gate and it's not coming back in. And I'm about to, I'm about to stampede over anybody who gets in my way. This is definitely making, finding your voice and decide and not letting anybody suppress it. Um, and really something has been like choking, like I said, choked in your gullet, like choking you. It's like for some reason you've been holding it back and holding on to it and it's been making you suffer because you don't want to hold on to it anymore. You don't want, it's like say these words. You want to say the words to somebody. You want to confront somebody. You want it to come out for once and for all. And you were holding back. You were holding back maybe for propriety sake, maybe for peace sake, to save the peace, to keep the peace. Uh, you bad done with that. It could very well be you're sitting in your house right now, Aries, just tired of dealing with people's you know what. <laughs> you're just about done. It's over with. It's finished. It's gone. It's it's your patience has done run out. Ooh, energy of once again six. You got a lot of sixes here. Listen. St this is still about being together with people and still about loving people. Remember that you are in this together, even if people are getting on your last nerve, Aries. 
you are in this together and ultimately healing is going to be done when we combine and come together. No, I'm not trying to be the after school special or one of these PSA announcements. I'm trying to say that people are on your side and they do care about you and you got to feel it to heal it. So definitely let this be a cathartic experience for you or a cathartic co um, conversation for you that you're about to have, uh, you're about to shoot off at somebody. Um, let it, let it be cathartic for you and heal you. This is an energy of love could actually have to do with dealing with your spouse, dealing with an ex, dealing with somebody that you've had something to say for a long time. And now finally being able to get to say it, what I say, what I say, sing your own song, tell your truth, share it with the world. This is Gemini energy communicating specifically with one person in particular, being able to finally get to say what you need to say. You've heard their opinions, you've heard their side, and now they're about to hear yours. This is also freedom, experiencing freedom and feeling the freedom that comes from finally being able to be sincere and be truthful to who you are and what's inside of yourself. This could also be literally sharing your gifts with the world or finding something is very healing for you um, during this time by using your voice and using your passion and using your momentum to do something that's inspired. Using, I said, let me, let me go back because I know I said that too fast. Using your momentum or your energy to do something that is inspired. Maybe it's goofy, but it's like you're taking up an instrument or you're starting to take singing lessons. You're doing something to heal your heart because there's so much sitting on your chest right now. You have got to let it out. So this could actually inspire you to get creative. There is always enough. Three plus six is the energy of nine. It's coming out. There's an abundance of something that needs to come to the surface. And there, it, this is usually emotion. This is Piscean energy. Emotion that needs to come to the surface. And then last but not least, sing it to feel it. That's what it is. Feel it to heal it and then sing it. Sing it out loud to really let it out. Interesting, Aries. Interesting energy. It's definitely about communicating what you feel especially with regards to the things that you've been suppressing or repressing. It's almost like you've been forced into silence. They're about to hear you roar. Mm. Learn from the past. Two plus five. Ooh, Taurus energy, very certain of yourself, very stubborn and very impermeable as you move forward. This is the energy of um, the confidence that you get when you have historical experience with this kind of thing. It's almost like in the past, I've swallowed this. In the past, I've kept quiet. In the past, I've done nothing. In the past, I've held up the status quo. And guess what? I'm still kind of connected or held down to the past and I'm about done with it. So this is you realizing that you have made a mistake in the past by not speaking up or saying what you needed to say. And ultimately now you're, you're not, you're not doing that anymore. These are your three grounding energies. So you have love is in the air. Love is all around energy of four plus one, which is five, a change in communication, a change in the reception, a change in the way that you communicate or a change in the way that people receive you. This is an energy of, it's almost like a, it's almost like people have changed in terms of what they think of you or how they listen to you. It's that that's almost the energy of, of something like changing what people, how people perceive you. Um, also love is in the air. Transformation is beautiful. Mm. Um, a change in your person. This is awakening. The energy of 11 is awakening, awakening to your own self-worth and your own capabilities and believing in yourself, spreading your wings and letting yourself fly. And then believe in yourself comes out to basically ground it all. Uh, energy of a seven plus five equals 12. Um, believe in yourself adds up to three. Ooh, this is finding balance in yourself. This is finding balance and stability by laying these seeds and starting a new, starting something new. You could be starting a new relationship right? It's interesting. It's almost like you had to finish one out and say, like, like I said, you were choking, you were choking on something that you needed to say. It's almost like you needed to finish. 
you hadn't finished an old relationship out or an old circumstance, things, things needed to be said before it was done. And now you have literally said all that you needed to say. It could very well be that you weren't ready to talk. You weren't ready to talk because you were about done with the circumstance or situation. But now you realize that what's stuck in your gullet has to be vomited in their face. They deserve it, not you. So this is the energy of believing yourself and loving yourself and then really just sort of like spewing self-love all over the place um, and letting yourself fly because you don't care about their opinion anymore. Or um, this is double mercury energy. Really interesting. Communications liberating you and setting you free. It could very well be some good news is coming towards you as well that helps you feel happy and helps you feel confident or makes you feel confident to know that you're going to be okay if you say what you need to say. So there's some sort of liberating communication coming into you because this is their grounding energy. Hold on. Let me show you the cards. See, this is your grounding energy. There's something here that's making you feel extremely secure and ready and confident in the future enough to be able to start planting seeds and make the decision that going forward, things are going to be okay long term because Virgo's in it for long term. So this is about, this is about things changing, the atmosphere changing. It could be communications that came in that gave you confidence, sort of redeemed your sense of self or, or somebody giving you credit that you deserve. That's basically helped to set you free to the point where you can basically, like I said, once again, scream and shout if you have to, um, to sort of rage against whatever crappiness was was in your life mucking you up or choking you because you were about done and I think you just held on to whatever you needed to say because you were afraid of breaking the status quo and now you realize the status quo didn't help you none and you're going to be okay without it there's some sort of good news that's come in here I want to get the details I'm about to get the deets about what it is that liberated you and where you're headed so Aries let's hop on over to the extended we're going to pull a full tarot card spread, and then also do your love and romance reading. I will see you guys in the extended. Link is below.